Hi everyone, it's Julia Chow. Welcome back to this channel. This is an ideal video for those of you suffering from an existential crisis. You are not sure what to do with your life at this point. You've done everything you could, you've done everything right, yet you're still unhappy and now you're feeling so exhausted, you don't know what to do next. If this is your situation and you're experiencing this in your career and you don't know what career direction to take next, or if you're experiencing it in your business direction, you don't know what pivot to take up next, how to grow further, then this is a key video that's going to help you become clear of your direction and to help you achieve your goals. If you're having an existential crisis right now, that is a really good thing. When you start to have a growth mindset, you have more desires, you want something better in your life, and you will witness a disconnect between where you wish to be and where you are right now, and that gap in between where you don't know what you need to do next, based on the rules that you have followed so far, that's going to open you up to what we call an existential crisis. Existential crisis is spiritual. You have been conditioned through your childhood experiences, how you've been parented through those observations that you had in your formative years. And now the, and that conditioning is no longer a fit where you wanna go next. Much of this whole process is asking you to break the generational cycle that you have inherited through your family, the way of thinking, feeling, experiencing, living your life and making decisions, in your happiness, in your finances, in your connections. Many of you will feel very much burnt out. A lot of times in this situation, people will quit their jobs erratically. I don't recommend that you do that unless you're in a super toxic environment. Instead, you have to strategize and look at what's going to help you get to the next level. When you don't have financial security, there's no way that you can feel safe. From a place of internal safety, you're able to open up your mind to other possibilities that are beyond the limitations of what you have observed and what's been normal to you pretty much all of your life. Coming out of this existential crisis, you have to become more creative. You have to expand your mind to see what else is possible outside of the possibilities that you've been living in. You're not able to become creative and to think creatively when you're in scarcity mode. Your existential crisis will also be paired with the dark night of the soul, which is when everything in your life seems to crumble. Your career is no longer satisfying you. You may have invested many years into this career with your studies and also actually working in the industry. You may be feeling like your relationships are falling apart, you're not happy there, you're feeling very lonely. You may be feeling a lot of things that you invested in, people, projects, the priorities that you had are also falling apart. This is called the dark night of the soul, where the existential crisis and the dark night of the soul, they go hand in hand together. People think that this is gonna be like a temporary thing, maybe a year, it's gonna last a couple of months or a year. But for a lot of people, they tend to have it for a long time until you actually fix the issue because what it really comes down to is fixing it, not about doing time in it. This is not jail. You have to find the solution. A lot of people will also come up with a band-aid solution. I've frequently seen clients who jump from job to job every two years where the feeling of novelty is gonna help them feel better but then within two years, that feeling drains out of them and they're in the same exact place. So in a situation like this, people will experience with those band solutions, they'll re-experience or have new versions of the dark night of soul over and over again, which becomes really exhausting. So which takes us to the point, this is a time, an opportunity for you to look at your value systems, your life, and looking at where have you been breaching those value systems. Your disappointment, your sadness, your upset, your inability to achieve your goals, comes to having a set of value systems and your behaviors and the decisions that you're making in your life betraying the exact value systems. For example, if you really believe in social justice and you're working for a company, an industry, or for a boss or a company culture that doesn't value the same, you will have a really hard time reconciling the two. And eventually, after coping for many years, you will end up burning yourself out. Or when you deeply know that you have a very specific type of talent, but you haven't been honoring that and allowing yourself to explore that, and you keep doing something that actually requires your weakness to be stronger, then you will also feel very exhausted and you will feel like you can't do this anymore. The other aspect of the dark night of the soul is for you to start paying attention to the power dynamics and hierarchies, the invisible forces that have been holding you back, which have been so normalized in your existence that you don't even know they're there. These power dynamics are based on the CPR that I talk about in my other content. Please go watch my other videos for more details on that. The power hierarchy in our society, the moment you're born into this society, you're already placed in a certain level of power hierarchy based on your social economic background, your race, your ethnicity, your gender, all of that. 
So I call it the CPR, capitalism, patriarchy, racism, and the rankings that are man-made in our society that immediately puts you in a certain level of power positioning and privilege. When you are lower on the lower tier of the power privilege, you will feel much lower self-esteem and you'll have a harder time overcoming obstacles to become a privilege, which is what success really is. And you will also invite more counter forces. And this is where you feel like the, the harder you work against these forces, nothing gets better and you end up burning yourself out and getting exhausted as well. What you have to do is understand how the power dynamics work and become wise to navigate these dynamics rather than fighting against it. The next influence in your existential crisis and dark night of soul are your childhood issues and typically your relationship with your parents and your family of origin. Much of how you think, feel, experience and make decisions in this world as an adult is influenced by your formative conditioning. The older you get, more of that formative conditioning and old resentments, anger, sadness will come to the surface. Even when you have privilege in the power hierarchy, you will experience low self-esteem and helplessness when you have unresolved childhood issues. In this situation, you're not able to own your privilege, you feel helpless, which are all tied to your childhood experiences. In other words, healing your childhood experiences through subconscious reprogramming process will help you gain clarity and help you make the right decision moving forward. Typically, when people are experiencing a lot of instability in their emotions through an experience like existential crisis or the dark night of the soul, you will feel very unsafe in your body. You are experiencing some kind of radical shift and you're having a really hard time catching up, let's say spiritually. All of you will experience lack of focus and lack of clarity. You will find that you can't even sit down to do a meditation. The root cause of that is that you feel unsafe. A lot of people say things like, I have ADHD or ADD, which may be the case and I can't diagnose anybody. I'm not in a position to do that. So that's something that you wanna cover yourself and to get medical help. But what is prevalent and pretty much the same across the board is that when you feel emotionally unsafe, because of all the negative thoughts that you're having, a lot of thoughts that were formulated through your childhood programming, then you, you train yourself to feel unsafe and you're living in fight or flight mode. And in that space, you can't meditate, you can't focus, you can't stay still, you can't even really do any of the processes that you may opt into and to do that well and to get benefit from that because when you don't feel safe, you can't sit with it. It is really important for you to start to train your body to learn to sit with it, to sit with the emotions, to observe the emotions, to observe the thoughts, even just practicing that five minutes a day. You don't even have to do it in a meditation type of way. You, you can just be with yourself, even for five to 10 minutes, and just observe the thoughts. What are the fears that keep coming up? Even if you're able to address that, now that invisible force or part of the invisible force has an identity. And from that place, you're able to start articulating what's making you feel unsafe. That will give you a lot of clues and cues to what you need to do next to find clarity in your life. What, what are the areas that you really need to focus on? What is actually giving you distress? This level of self-awareness is what's going to awaken you in this moment of existential crisis to give you a form of rebirth that you very much deserve to create a life and a career that's gonna give you the happiness, success, and fulfillment that you really deserve. Once you're able to settle yourself down and experience and notice those emotions and the thoughts that are coming to you, from that place, you're ready to train your body to feel safe regardless of the circumstances. And of course, if you're sitting in the middle of a war zone, that is an unsafe situation. You should absolutely take care of yourself in other ways. But we're talking about in a normal living standards where your life is pretty much routine, but you're feeling extremely agitated, unsafe, and anxious. When you're able to sit with yourself without distractions and just do that, even just for five minutes, you actually start to feel much safer in your body. Please watch my last video on the seven proven steps to subconscious reprogramming to help you manifest fulfillment and success in your life. The topic that we discussed today, the sense of safety, is step number three in that video. 
So after watching this video and practicing what I taught you, go watch that video and it'll help you put all the pieces together to start manifesting the most wonderful, fulfilling, happy time of your life. Please comment down below. What else would you like to see next? Do you have any questions? I'll be happy to answer. Thank you so much for watching. It's Julia Chat. See you in my next video.